Micro and Nano Manufacturing. Me 474. Module 1. Part 2. Presented by. Jithu C. John. Assistant Professor. Department of Mechanical Engineering. Government Engineering College, Koja Code. 4. 8th Semester. B.Tech, Mechanical Engineering. Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam Technological University. Kerala. Elect, Micro and Nano Manufacturing. Me 474. Module 1. Part 2. Presented by. Jithu C. John. Assistant Professor. Department of Mechanical Engineering. Government Engineering College, Koja Code. 4. 8th Semester. B.Tech, Mechanical Engineering. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Technological University. Kerala. Electrophotography. Electrophotography produces documents and images. The principle behind electron photography was materials of opposite electrical charges attract and that some materials become better conductors of electricity when exposed to light. In this a photoconductive surface is given a positive electrical charge. This photoconductive surface is then exposed to the image of a document. A negatively charged powder spread over the surface which adheres through electrostatic attraction to the positively charged image areas. A piece of paper in which the image should imposed is placed over the powder image and then given a positive charge. The negatively charged powder is attracted to the positive charged paper. An adequate amount of heat is supplied and it fuses the powder image to the paper, producing a copy of the original image. This method is mainly followed to manufacture printed circuit board, PCB. It can create images on a wide variety of receivers. This method is also used to make a thin coating on pharmaceutical tablets and capsules. Xerography is based on the principle that a certain material can retain an electrostatic imprint of a brightly lit image. When a document is placed in a copier, a bright light is bounced off the paper, through a lens, and onto a specially coated drum. The coating becomes electrostatically charged with a mirror image of the document. As the drum rotates, the fine black particles that make up the ink, called toner, are attracted to the charged areas on the drum the same areas that would be the print on the paper. As copy paper is rolled over the drum, a heat roller fuses the toner from the drum and onto the paper, reproducing the original image. Electrophotography Image result for electrophotography printing Image result for electrophotography printing the figure shows mechanism of electrophotography. The main parts are Laser scanning unit Developer roller Toner Drum assembly Corona wire unit Heat fuser Discharge lamp Electrophotography steps Charging, an electrostatic charge is uniformly distributed over the surface of the drum. Exposure, the document to be copied is illuminated by flash lamps. Development, the drum is presented with a slowly turbulent mixture of toner particles. Transfer, the toner image is transferred from the drum to the paper by a combination of pressure and electrostatic attraction. Separation or detac, electric charges on the paper are partially neutralized by AC, the paper is separated from the drum or belt surface. Fixing or fusing, the toner image is permanently fixed to the paper using either a heat and pressure mechanism, hot roll fuser. Cleaning, remaining toner is removed from the drum surface by a rotating brush under suction, or a squeegee known as the cleaning blade.
Microelectronics Fabrication Methods Electronic circuits, solid structures, printing circuits as well as various electronic components, ICs are manufactured by microelectronics fabrication methods. All the fabricated components are tested by using EDA, Electronic Design Automation. Fabrication starts with preparation of a set of photographic masks. Mask features are transferred to the wafer by exposing a light-sensitive photoresist coating through the transparent areas of the mask. The other remaining unwanted parts are removed by etching. Bulk Micromachining The microelectronics fabrication processes fall into the two general categories of bulk micromachining and surface micromachining. Bulk micromachining is a process used to produce micro-machinery or micro-electro-mechanical systems, MEMS. Bulk micromachining refers to etching through the wafer from the backside in order to form the desired structures. The first thing that needs to happen The structures are formed by wet chemical etching or by reactive ion etching, RIE. If structuring is performed on wafer materials the process is called a bulk micromachining process and if it is performed on the thin film the process is called a surface micromachining process. Image result for bulk micromachining. Surface micromachining. Surface micromachining is the process of forming movable structures by placing the structures on initially rigid platforms, then removing the platforms, usually by etching the material away. Process of fabrication of MEM structures out of deposited thin films. Low pressure chemical vapor deposition method is used to deposite polycrystalline silicon, silicon nitride, and silicon dioxides. Steps of surface micro-machining are Substrate preparation 
sacrificial layer deposition and patterning, structural polysilicon deposition and doping, microstructure release, rinse, and dry. This figure illustrate the steps involved in surface micro-machining. This figure illustrate the use of sacrificial layer in micro-machining. Carving of layers put down sequentially on the substrate by using selective etching of sacrificial thin films to form freestanding or completely released thin film microstructure. This figure shows an image of micro-fabricated micro-gripper. Micro-gripper is a microscopic device used to grasp and manipulate microscale objects safely. Precise handling of components, parts, and tools at automated assembly lines and sample handling and manipulation in life science are most crucial positioning tasks. This figure shows in MEMS accelerometers by analog devices incorporated, ADI. Accelerometers offer highly accurate motion detection when measuring acceleration, tilt, shock, and vibration in performance-driven applications. Bulk Micromachining Fabricated by etching away the unwanted part in silicon wafer. Create structures inside a substrate. Larger structures are made easily. Limited to low aspect ratio in geometry height is limited by thickness of silicon wafer. Sacrificial layer is not required. Process is less expensive material loss is more. Superior mechanical properties. Dimensional control is good. Size is small. Uses wet etching techniques. Simple geometry, thermal sensor, neuron wells. Surface micromachining. In this it is fabricated by building layers on layers. This creates structures on top of a substrate. It is difficult to build larger structures. Not constraints by thickness of silicon wafer, so high aspect ratio geometries can be fabricated. Etching of sacrificial layer is required. Process is expensive but less material loss. Mechanical properties are good. Dimensional control is better. Size is smaller. It uses dry etching techniques. Complex geometry, Micro valves and actuators. Micro instrumentation. This is useful where a higher QoS, quality of service, such as sensitivity, resolution, selectivity, and repeatability is desired. Micro instruments can be applied in nuclear reactors, space shuttles, research laboratories, spectroscopy, surface analysis, tribology studies, topography, microfluidics, microtomography, and imaging. Micromechatronics It is the integration of mechanical engineering with electronics and intelligent control algorithms in the design and manufacture of products process. The application of micro mechatronics includes areas such as motion control, robotics, automotive, intelligent control, actuators and sensors, modeling and design, system integration, vibrations, and noise control. Micro mechatronics is the technology that involves the design and manufacture of mechatronics products with dimensions in the range of 1 micrometer to 1 millimeter. This figure shows an electromagnetic micrometer with a diameter of 1.9 mm, developed by the Institute of Microtechnique, Germany. Nano finishing. Mechanical and optical parts in the high precision domain require precise structural perfection and manipulation on the nanometer scale. Nano finishing is a subset of the nano machining process. Machining accuracies in conventional processes would reach 1 micrometer, while accuracies in precision and ultra-precision machining would reach 0.01 micrometer, 
10 nanometer, and 0.001 micrometer, 1 nanometer, respectively. The figure shows the historical progress of achievable machining accuracy during the last century. Traditional nano finishing processes. Grinding, honing, and lapping. Advanced nano finishing processes. Abrasive flow machining, AFM, with sick abrasives. Elastic emission machining, EEM, with ZRO2 abrasives. Elasto abrasive finishing, elasto abrasive balls or spheres. Ion beam machining, IBM. Focused ion beam, FIB. Nano finishing. Magnetic field assisted nano finishing processes. Magnetic abrasive finishing, MAF. Magnetic float polishing, MFP, with CEO2. Magnetorheological finishing, MRF, with CEO2. Hybrid nano finishing processes. Chemomechanical magnetorheological finishing, CMMRF Electrochemical grinding Electrochemical magnetic abrasive finishing Electrodischarge diamond grinding Electrochemical honing process References Break the chain Stay safe at home